Not like the brazen giant of Greek fame, with conquering limbs astride from land to land. Here at our sea-washed sunset gate shall stand a mighty woman with a torch whose flame is the imprisoned lightning and her name, Mother of Exiles. From her beacon hand glows worldwide welcome, her mild eyes command. The air-bridged harbor that twin cities frame. Keep ancient lands your storied pomp, cries she, with silent lips. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses, yearning to breathe free. The wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Wow, 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 wow. Happy Mother's Day. I'm Twain Sanity. This is Liberty and Sanity 93. Mother's Day 2023. Show you some of my recent Liberty pickups. But shout out to all the moms worldwide. I like to read Emma Lazarus's poem on Mother's Day. <clears throat> the poem is called The New Colossus. But the famous name she gives, Lady Liberty, the Statue of Liberty, Liberty Enlightening the World. Emma Lazarus calls her the mother of exiles. And just yesterday, finally watched the documentary called The Mother of Exiles on HBO, and it was amazing. Uh, for some reason, based on the trailer, I thought I wasn't going to like it, but it gives a very thorough and accurate history of the Statue of Liberty, including the Emma Lazarus poem, Bartholdi's creation, Eiffel's involvement, Pulitzer's involvement, and then, of course, most interestingly, some modern stuff. They show the coal bar factory in New York. They even show a Chinese souvenir manufacturer, you know, in China. They visit the Liberty Collectors Club in Las Vegas. They talk to um, David Copperfield, who famously made the Statue of Liberty disappear 40 years ago. And of course, they talk about the construction of the Statue of Liberty Museum, which began uh, in 2017, and I believe it was completed 2019. Great documentary, highly recommended. So here we are, Mother's Day, the Memorial Day slash 4th of July. Stuff is already out at Michael's. These, this one in particular by Ashland has shown up at least the last three years. The thing is, this one sells out quick. So we finally got one. We went to two Michaels and uh, f we found, well, we found two. Uh, but this one sells for 30 and eBayers gobble this one up and they'll flip it for around 60. So I'm happy to finally have one. Shout out to Miss Lady Insanity. Ah, that's a lovely one. Then I knew about this one. This one's currently $12 very cute this one came out last year but they were green last year so i did not get one last year either but first appearance in white got three i can paint my own green one this is one from ebay this is the zizu z-i-z-o usa uh, i've always had my eye on this one so i finally got one on ebay but i gotta say don't really like it because <laughs> there's six Spikes, even though there's room for a seventh. And no, it is not broken. I like the angular nature of it, but it needed the seventh spike. This is at Michael's, also currently $30. Never seen this one before. I've seen this sort of idea as a t-shirt or a sticker. But now we get a resin piece, $30. Lady Liberty Puppy, going to paint this up, hopefully for national dog day and then finally this one these are on clearance at michael's for ten dollars this is a very odd piece 
these initially came through for the spring collection. They went to clearance because I guess they were trying to infuse a sense of travel, not necessarily patriotism, but travel in the spring. This one is uh, basically raw resin. Doesn't have the glossy white as the others. But you can see it looks like it's uh, made out of clay or paper mache. It does have seven spikes, I love that. Torch is in the correct arm. But the oddest thing I've ever seen on a Statue of Liberty figure, no tablet. And nothing in, you know, as a parody in place of a tablet. It's just a hand at the side. I have never seen anyone portray Lady Liberty with just a hand at the side. But they lend themselves well to custom painting. And I painted one pink for Mother's Day. I will surely paint the others. I've been wanting to paint one red. But then I've also like, you know, a lot of people do pink, a lot of people do red. I've never seen anyone do an orange Liberty, yellow, or even purple. So I got two others I can paint. And these were only 10 because they did survive the entire spring season and go to clearance. These other pieces, I'm telling you, will not. We've monitored them a couple years. Once they sell, I mean, the 4th of July stuff comes out in May. And of course we got Memorial Day late May, but these will sell out quick, especially if you're like me and buy all three. Each store got probably three of these, three of these, three of these, and they're already selling out. So happy to have some stuff. We'll probably see again, paint it up. Little shelf sitters. This one also in a similar style, there's a gnome and a Uncle Sam, but they're full painted. And like I said, last year, if you got one of these last year, you have it in green. Love them, love them. So happy to finally have this. Beautiful centerpiece. Nicely crafted resin. Yeah, I haven't decided if I'm gonna paint this one. We're definitely painting the puppy and the other things. But that looks great in stark white and the youthful face on this particular one. Mother of Exiles, Mother's Day. Liberty and Sanity 93. Thanks for looking. Thanks for the thumbs up. Check out the Liberty and Sanity hashtag or playlist. Give your mom a hug. Goodbye.